Welcome back viewers. We want to solve this partial fraction. Now we need to get the value for A, for B and for C. Now in doing this, we should know that the denominator have been decomposed as x minus 1, x plus 1 and x plus 2. Now this is like writing 5x plus 7 divided by, if you decompose x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2, you're going to get x minus 1 x plus 1 and x plus 2. Now, equal. Finding the LCM of this and this and this. So we have x minus 1, x plus 1, and lastly we have x plus 2. Now, solving this, x minus 1 in this, so that is x minus 1 cancel out x minus 1. So you have x plus 1, x plus 2. Okay, now here we have a multiplying x plus 1, x plus 2, plus b. x plus 1 is going to cancel out from this denominator. So you have x minus 1, x plus 2 plus c let me just put that right down here okay so x plus 2 is going to cancel out you have x minus 1 x plus 1 now looking at this you can see that this denominator can easily cancel out this denominator looking at this little rule of um fraction when you have 2 when you have x over 4 equals to y over 2 2 can cancel out for here. So this is just a little arithmetic. So the denominator can cancel out. Now equating the numerator, we have 5x plus 7 equal a. Now let's bring out the bracket. You're going to have x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2. Now plus b. Bring, expanding the bracket, we're going to have x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2 plus c. Expanding the bracket, we're going to have x squared plus x minus x minus 1. Now, next, we have 5x plus 7 equal a x squared plus 2x plus s is going to give you 3x plus 2 plus b x squared plus 2x minus x is going to give you plus x minus 2 plus c this is going to cancel out we have x squared minus 1 now, the next thing to do is to bring out the brackets. Now, here we have 5x plus 7 equal ax squared plus 3ax plus 2a plus bx squared plus bx minus 2b plus cx squared minus c. Now, the next thing to do is to combine the coefficients together. Here we have a plus b. These are having the coefficient of x squared. You can see that. So that means you're going to pick this, having the coefficient of x squared, and also c. Yeah, and also c. Pardon my mistake. Plus b, plus c, all having x squared. Then next, we move to the coefficient of x. We have 3a, we have bx. Then we have plus 3a plus b we have x and lastly 
those without coefficient, which is 2a minus 2b minus c, no coefficient. And on the left hand side, we still have 5x plus 7. The next thing for us to do is to what? Equate the coefficients. So when we equate the coefficient, by equating the coefficient, you can see that x squared does not have any corresponding coefficient on the left hand side. So here we have a plus b plus c. The coefficient of x squared on the left hand side is 0. And now looking at the coefficient of x, here we have 3a plus b, and on the left hand side we have 5. So equating the corresponding coefficient, here we're going to have 3a plus b equals to 5. And lastly, we have 2a minus 2b minus c equals to 7. So lastly, we have 2a minus 2b minus c equals to 7. So now we have in the equation, equation 1, equation 2, and lastly, we have the equation 3. Now, solving this equation 3 simultaneously, okay, now, um, let's add equation 1 and um, equation 3. If you add equation 1 and 3, let me write the two equations for clarity. Yeah. You're going to have equation 1, a plus b plus c equals to 0, 2a minus 2b minus c equals to 7. If you add these two equations together, you have 3a minus b equals to 7. Why? Because c cancel out. Let's call this equation 4. Now we add equation 4. Let's combine equation 4 and equation 2 together. So equation 2, which is 3a plus b equals to 5. Don't forget, this is my equation 2. So adding these two equations together, I'm going to have 6a equals to 12. Dividing both sides by the coefficient of a, which is 6, 6, my a is going to be 2. Great. Now we need to get b. So don't forget that from equation 2, we have equation 2 to be 3a, which is going to be 3 multiplying by 2 plus b equals to 5. Yeah, you can have your b to be equals to 5 minus 3 times 2, which is 6. So b equals to what? Negative 1. And um, also to get C, okay, now using equation 1. So from equation 1, we have A plus B plus C to be equals to 0. Now my A is 2, my B is negative 1 plus C equals to 0. So C is also going to be negative 1. Now going up there, we have A to be 2 b to be negative 1 and c also to be what? negative 1. So coming back up here, now we've gotten the value for what? our a. So here my a is going to be 2 and also for b, my b is going to be negative 1 and lastly for c, my c is going to be negative 1. So this is the decomposition of the fractional fraction. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.